So hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurav Mishra and today in this video we are going to discuss about the directional and non-directional overcurrent relay trainer. Its order code is 2223620.1.4n. So in this video we are going to discuss about its components and its working. So now uh, we will start with the components of directional and non-directional overcurrent relay trainer. So let's start with the components of this kit. So three, uh, all the three indicators of different phases R, Y, and V has been given over here. Okay, a three-phase supply is being given. Then an emergency stop. In case of any emergency, you can just click, uh, tap this, and the system will get off. Ports for R, Y, V, and neutral phase, and our earth phase has been given. Next is there is a voltmeter and a meter has been given. Main rotator meter has been given. Okay. And two loads, uh, load indicators have been given over here. The ports of PN and neutral. Okay. Then here you can see there is a VDA, uh, regulator has been given for changing the voltage. Uh, forward and reverse switch set current has been given. You can uh, make the system in the forward direction and the reverse direction. Then uh, forward reverse switch has been given, which is uh, built inside only with the uh, voltmeter across it. Okay, conductance wire has been given. Okay, uh, then current injector has been given. Next, see uh, all the three connections with R phase, Y phase, and V phase. And a neutral phase has been given. You can short these R phase, neutral phase, Y phase, and uh, V phase. Then a meter has been given. Then this is the main relay kit. Okay, so but this is the main the protection relay. Which is given over here, we can check the value by connecting the socket with the CPU. Then all the relays, relay 1, 2, 3, and 4 been given with the P, neutral, and uh, earth port. Then a counter has been given with the start, common, and stop port. A reset button has been given, timer reset, and two regulators for making it in the making it switch on the counter. So this is all about the components. Right next, we will start with the Circuiting, so the connections will be in the now we will do the connections of direction and non direction over current relay trainer. So now let's start the connection of the direction and non direction over current relay. So for the connection, uh, you have to take the patch codes. Okay, so let's start the connection. So firstly, you have to connect this R port with this P port okay and this neutral port with this neutral port okay now take another patch foods and connect this R with this P port okay must ensure that the connection should be proper. R the P and this neutral with this neutral. Okay. Next, take another another patch ports. Connect this Y port with this Y port and this B phase port with this B phase port. Okay. Check the connections. Also connect this neutral port with this neutral port. Now take another patch port and short these two neutral, two Y and two B phase ports. So neutral with the neutral, Y with the Y, Y phase with the Y phase, and B phase with the B phase. Okay. Now next, connect this P port with the main digital meter, this port, and this neutral port, this neutral port, with this, with this port. Okay. Now, you have to do, 
just to connect this port with this 6 volt port ok and next this port with this ammeter port now take another patch port and connect this ammeter port with this with this red port of the ammeter and just shorted this port with this input CT ok you can check the connections properly now lastly connect this common port with the neutral of the relay 3 and this stop port with this blue port of relay 3 ok so now we are done with the connections the only connection left is the USB cable which we have to connect from the protection relay protection relay we have to connect this socket ok so there will be a cable given ok with this kit we have to connect this cable over here ok just connect it over the, here and connect this cable USB with the CPU of your system of your PC so connect this with the CPU of the system and just make the power supply on so I have already connected this three phase supply ok uh, now we have to just switch on this board so just it switch on the board ok switch on the main connections ok it has been started now we have to switch on these supplies just click on this ok so you can see the readings has been there ok now whichever phase you want to take like I have taken in forward I will take in this in the forward ok so see all the connections being properly arranged ok uh, so you can see their counter their meter and the voltmeter is switched on the protection relay is also switched on now just you can uh, just switch on these two switches and take it into the forward and see the counter the emitter readings has been started counting the counter is there ok so it will show you a split in the protection relay system ok now we move to the software part of the uh, direction on direction over current reader trend so let's move on for the software part so before moving uh, to the software part you can see our trip is uh, indicating over here in the protection area you can see ok now uh, we will check for the uh, software part that how to connect the software interface we have connected this cable with the CPU of our uh, computer now we will move on for the software part so if you want to buy this uh, its order code is 2223 so now let's move for the software part ok so now we will move for the software part of uh, directional and non-directional over current relay trainer so firstly go for the mycom s1 agile software so double click on this ok it will take a few seconds to get open just wait for ha. so now uh, just uh, go for the go click on the system explorer and you will clear next you have to click on the next six new system name it anything supposedly I have named it as uh, new system 2 you can change the path also and then click on ok system file is been there now click on this system right click on this ok and create click on new substation name it as uh, supposedly I have name it as subs2 then click on ok ok then just uh, click on this substation right click on this and click on new voltage level name it as maybe I'll put it as name new voltage 2 ok and then just click on ok so here it has been completed now click on back 
and click on this quick, quick connect after that you have to click on P40 Agile Compact next since we have connected the USB port so click on USB port you can change the uh, my USB has been connected at the COM17 port so you, uh, it will be showing COM17 you can connect it at any any other port so click on COM17 and just finish it off okay so this screen will be there so quick connect succeeded uh, it I'll make it name as P14D and click on finish so you have completed uh, till here now go on the settings so just right click on this and click on extract settings test connection is being proceeded just wait for a few second it will ask for a password so default password is capital A A A N A four times A click on OK so there is a setting extracting from the devices it will take a few seconds just wait for it okay it's nearly completed okay so it is showing operation success now close this window you will get this okay and uh, now just uh, double click on this okay and you will see the files over here related to this okay and uh, now click on PSL and click on extract name it as a group num number two uh, group number one okay click on okay now test connection is again proceeding now this window will appear click on yes files extraction is in process just wait for a few seconds okay so it is showing operation success okay so just close this now click on this PSL uh, click on this 000 file now you'll see a chart PSL logics chart over here uh, according to the programming logics okay you can check uh, which connections has been made okay this will show you PSL logics close this now after that go for the like in connection port okay so now after this uh, you can check in the settings just right click on the settings okay or double click on the settings this zero 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 they are all the settings have been there you can change since we have selected for the group one you can change the o settings like in this over current you can change the direction of the current okay like you can check non-directional directional forward directional reverse for uh, present instance I have taken for the directional forward so just select on this okay so you can change the settings from here and now you have to save this so it's this file is say getting saved okay now next now after saving this file click on the system and just click on this send button this will appear in front of you click on this checkbox on this okay and just send it click on yes operation events launch okay it will take a few seconds just wait for that okay so it has been done let's just close off this window okay so this is all about the system you can change all the settings from here okay so this is all about the software part of the directional on directional lower current relay trainer in the mycom s1 agile software so here is the complete demonstration of this product from my side if you have any query you can contact at tesla global website for other information related to this product you can refer to the manual and information related to other products is given in the links given in the description thank you for watching this video if you like this video just like share and subscribe to our channel